Welcome to the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium's High School English Language Arts Grade Level Considerations Training Module. This module examines considerations for item and task development that are specific to high school. Unlike the kindergarten through grade 8 Common Core State Standards for English Language Arts, the high school standards are not grade level specific. The high school standards represent what students must know and be able to do upon graduation from high school. At high school, the standards are organized into two grade bands, grades 9 and 10 and grades 11 and 12. This module will examine the importance of considering reading level, vocabulary, grade appropriate context, item difficulty, and the assessment targets and associated expectations that are described in the Smarter Balanced Content Specifications. But before these topics are explored in greater detail, let's take a moment to introduce the Smarter Balanced Style Guide. The Smarter Balanced Style Guide provides both global style conventions that apply to all content areas and style conventions that are specific to English language arts. The style conventions provide guidance on a variety of issues, including the layout and design of items and tasks, methods for emphasizing content in items, and use of numerals and words for numbers in narrative text. It is important to review the Smarter Balanced Style Guide before writing items and tasks. Now let's focus specifically on reading level. In order to collect valid evidence for specific skills, items and tasks must be written so high school students can understand them without difficulty, yet provide the rigor appropriate to high school. The Common Core State Standards require students to read increasingly complex texts with greater independence and proficiency as they progress towards college and career readiness. The passages and stimuli used for Claim 1 and 3 items should represent a range of complexity with some passages at grade level, some above grade level, and some below the grade level for which items are being developed. The passages and stimuli used for Claim 2 and 4 items need to be one grade below the assessed grade. There are three guidelines that are important to consider regarding the reading level of item and task stems. First, item stems must be written in clear language and use vocabulary that is at or below the assessed grade level. Second, domain-specific vocabulary must be appropriate to the grade level as defined in the Common Core State Standards. Third, when measuring ability to derive meaning based on the context in which a word or phrase is used, vocabulary must be at least two grade levels above the assessed grade level. The context of high school passages, items, and tasks must be appropriate for the age and experience of high school students. Appropriate contexts cover a range of common interests and address topics and situations in a more complex way than those used in middle school. They should be easily accessible to the average high school student. Inappropriate contexts include those that would be considered too immature or simple, too complex, or outside common high school experience. A range of difficulty is necessary to discriminate between low and high performing students. Passages and items should form a continuum from easy, those that most students could be expected to answer, to hard, those that only a few students could be expected to answer, with most items falling in the middle range of difficulty. An adaptive test requires items that span a full range of difficulty. Item writers need to include items that they perceive as easy, medium, and hard. To help guide the development of items that range in difficulty, each sample item presented in the item specifications provides information about its anticipated difficulty level. Now, let's examine the claims and assessment targets contained in the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium ELA Literacy Content Specifications. Smarter Balanced has defined four claims or broad statements that will be made about learning outcomes. Claim 1 focuses on reading. Claim 2 focuses on writing. Claim 3 focuses on speaking and listening. And the final claim focuses on research. Claim 1 states that students can read closely and analytically to comprehend a range of increasingly complex literary and informational texts. To elicit evidence for Claim 1, all items will be accompanied by one or more grade appropriate passages. At the high school level, 30% of items will focus on literary texts such as stories, poems, plays, myths, or legends. At the high school level, 70% of items will focus on informational texts and may include passages specific to science, social studies, or technical topics. 
Evidence for Claim 1 will be provided by selected response, constructed response, and technology-enhanced items that focus on a particular skill or concept. Claim 2 focuses on writing and states that students can produce effective and well-grounded writing for a range of purposes and audiences. Evidence for Claim 2 will be provided by selected response, constructed response, technology-enhanced items, and performance tasks that focus on writing, revising, and or editing brief texts and full compositions, which are sometimes referred to as full rights. Writing items and tasks will ask students to produce argumentative and informational essays. For high school students, performance tasks will require students to apply reading and research skills to write full narratives, informational or explanatory essays, and argumentative essays. Claim 3 focuses on speaking and listening and states that students can employ effective speaking and listening skills for a range of purposes and audiences. Some speaking and listening standards may only be appropriate for local formative and interim assessment purposes. Evidence for Claim 3 will be provided by selected response, constructed response, or technology-enhanced items that focus on understanding and using information presented orally and or visually. Claim 3 will also be measured by performance tasks that require students to plan and deliver oral presentations. For high school students, the Claim 3 speaking performance tasks are similar to the other grades. They require students to analyze and evaluate sources, read grade-appropriate texts, and plan and deliver oral presentations. Claim 4 focuses on research and states that students can engage in research and inquiry to investigate topics and to analyze, integrate, and present information. Evidence for Claim 4 will be provided by selected response, constructed response, and technology-enhanced items. In addition, Claim 4 will be measured with performance tasks that focus on analyzing and selecting information to support a claim, a controlling idea, or the main idea. Claim 4 items and tasks will use real-world sources that address complex topics and issues. For high school grades, there is a strong emphasis on evaluating and analyzing complex sources. High school students should be able to plan, evaluate, and integrate information from multiple sources and use evidence. This module introduced topics item and task writers should consider, such as vocabulary, style, context, and item difficulty. The module also introduced the claims and assessment targets for high school students that are found in the Smarter Balanced English Language Arts content specifications.